Heads up! Four! It's a busy day out here at the Cedar Hill Disc Golf Course, or park I should say. There are two courses on this property. I'm standing here at hole one of the Beaver Course. I'm going to attempt to vlog today, but it's pretty crowded. Hole one looks to be about 480 feet, deceivingly far uphill. Low ceiling off the gap too. Octane. That'll do. I think I hit the stump. I don't know, look. If I had 120 out, that's how far uphill this hole is. Two beaver is in the short position right now. It's about 270 through the trees. Nice little envy shot. Right. Parked. Let me just. <laughs> Well, three at Beaver is about 340, little uphill. There isn't a good place to set up my tripod, so you're gonna you're gonna have to deal with this one. I believe this one's in the long position, so it should be about 380 feet. Either just a turnover to the left of those trees up there, or a forehand that stays straight most of the time. We'll see which one works. Sure, I don't think we'll get it there though. close. I don't think it'll get much better than that. This is this is certainly a cool green. I don't know if I want to run this or not. I'll give it a good look. I don't I don't have anything to say. What am I even trying to say? That's, that's about all I can do from here. And even then it tries to roll away. Eh, I won't damage my putters anymore. Or I'll just deal with that. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Now this is a green. Well, it's hole five. I'm already to my first backup. It is Saturday, so that makes sense. I think I'm in love with this course, though. It's about 390, I'd say. Flippy Tesla, right up the gut. Pretty good. Full six out here is about 370. Dog leg to the left, you gotta sneak it through some trees. Tesla. Oh, it didn't flip over for you. Yeah. I'm, I'm seeing now that I have to go outside of that. Beautiful shot. Is that an up Seven is a kind of a tweener between a par three and a par four. It's 470 feet. There's really no line to get there unless you're eagle and can throw a 500 foot hyzer. I'll try my best. Oh, baby. Oh, and a big old skip right under the basket. Look at that bird. A little shorter than I wanted to be, but got a backstop. You can give it a run. Oh, I thought that was in. 
Well, I made it to the first water hole. It's about 300 feet. The wind's really swirling, so let's hope I throw it right. That was better. Hole 10 is supposedly 365. I'll throw a few shots, but it's a pretty hard dogleg left. Shot number one, that's a Tesla. I'd rather react around instead of a hyzer. Might work. Maybe a pyro. The fades in time. We'll see. We'll see how far the dog leg is. Well, my first shot was perfect. I guess. But here's some content. Oh boy. Uh, I don't need to jump like that. That's what I'm learning. You just says 202, but nobody down here is smart enough to use the smart layouts. It's definitely in the 315 position up to the right. So if you want to just go just past the short position and kind of skip beforehand. Oh my gosh, that was something. We'll see. We will definitely see. Oh, I'm about 30 feet out. Maybe 28, 25. I'm not sure. And what I do know is this is going in. We'll tell Beaver, 185. That's way too far. There's literally nothing I can do. Coin slot to it. Maybe. Well, hole 13 beaver is literally a 90 degree dogleg right. It's about 300 feet. Like, what do I do? I go like way up there? I'll try it. Probably won't work, but I'll try. Well, that was money. I think I know the play. So, even after a seemingly perfect drive, I still got like a 55 footer. It's tough, that's for sure, but is it fair? I wouldn't say so. Are you kidding me? Just golf. Honestly. Sorry, man. Oh, Throw it harder next time, maybe? Well, 15, about 380, downhill, headwind, tunnel shot. We'll see what works. Flippy reactor. Man, that one's flippy. Try a fairway. Wow, that was pretty. Wow. 
well, the whole 16 looks fun. It's about 500. Uh, it's about 500 feet. Maybe slightly uphill. You got a left to right. You got a few different options. I'm never one to lay up though. Too low again. I'll try a flex. Maybe this thing, this octane. Heads up! Four! <laughs> that low ceiling makes it insanely difficult to get it there. Even though I can throw way further past the basket, you just have about 10 feet to clear. You have to go about 200 feet after that 10 foot ceiling. Nope. That tailwind. Maybe next time. We're walking to the wrong tee box. I finally found the right one. Um, looks like it's in the 435 position. It's all the way up that hill up there. Got a nice headwind to go along with it, too. What a way to go, bud. Well, I finally found the hole. You can just see the number plate right there. Ah. Another really cool, super cool hole. A nice green too. So you can see down the hill. Last hole on the course. Hole 18, like I think 450, dog leg left. I'm gonna see if I can try to push it. Look good. Severely underestimated how far left it went. A little past pin high, but I'm like 100 feet out. Well, that concludes my round out here at the Beaver. The fun factor is all the way up here. I had a blast playing this course. And there's such a good variety of shots to throw. You will throw your whole bag out here. The Beaver offers a good challenge for anybody and everyone. There are some easy 200 foot par threes and there are some huge bomber 500 foot par threes. There ain't much for par fours, but it's a great par three course.